Ooh, a new iPhone. Wait, or is this one the new iPhone? Oh, wait, mate, or is this the new iPhone? Or is it? Oh, no. It's uh, quite clear that Apple really has zeroed in on a design style here, hey. Well, mate, we got an 11, we got a 13, a 14, sorry, mate, and uh, there's the new guy right there. Apart from the dull, almost slightly rounded square, just, oh, USB-Z. They did it! No applause, dang it! Apple had a hand in the design of USB-C. Lots of companies did. Apple were one of the first ones to force it down our throats with those stupid MacBooks with nothing but USB-Cs. iPads have had USB-C for ages. They have iOS. They've had iOS devices with USB-C for years, and they only did it because Europe got mad at them. So thank you very much, Apple. I really do appreciate the USB-C. And you can stick it up your sideways. So it's a brand new flagship device, mate, meaning you're going to be able to see lots and lots reviews and opinions about it. So many reasons why this new rectangle is better than this rectangle. Well, this video is my take on what I want from a phone, mate. The only reason that I get a new one of these every time isn't so I have a new rectangle to play tower defense games on. It's because I use these cameras to film nearly all of my content across all of my channels. Duh, get a real camera. Why oh, I have one. It's a Sony. I got the proper guy, mate. I mean, it takes incredible photos and amazing videos if you know how to. If you don't, you literally make garbage. <laughs> That's pro equipment for you, mate. This ain't a toy. Back in like 2018, when I was first having like a proper go at trying to make content that wasn't Simpsons remixes, mate, I was using my phone back then because that's all I had. And heck, it does 4K 60. To this day, it is still hard to find 4K 60 cameras that aren't iPhones. And then you can just airdrop the footage straight to your workstation. It's it's very good. But what sucked about phone cameras for ages is that they really struggle with things moving around and in low light. And it's how I get away with it on this dang pod's desk because this is actually a very small space. Like this is an original size iPad. It's not big and it's filthy. I think it's ready for case number three. And it's got so much light on it that it makes my skin cry. And that's how I've been getting away with this. The iPhone just stays stationary and then in the edit is when I do all the cropping to give it motion. But the biggest feature for me versus a full size mirrorless is that I can't use one of these one handed and do lots of dynamic zooms, you know, and basically work as a one man presenter, camera operator and producer. So mate, like I can work the zoom and I've still got a free hand for pointing with. That for me is massive. Even better, what takes ages to edit with dang pods is that all the crops and edits as it's just a static shot as said when i edit i add all the motion for my car channel garbage time basically where i'm running around a workshop and we're playing with nugget cars i can do all of the zooming in and out in the camera while i'm talking and it cuts out like half the work it's how i'm able to have so many channels <laughs> i could do all the work in camera as the producer as the presenter all at once ad lib ba boom the sony takes amazing footage and amazing photos but the file size is a huge you know you're dealing with cards and things and swapping in and out it gets really really hot you know so better isn't always better this is just so casual and light on its feet for how good of stuff that you get out of these ones and i'm talking about all like iphones i even use the inbuilt microphone for garbage time right and it's because i want to get the workshop sound when you use like a lapel mic or something really close up you tend to just hear the voice and you know not much else which is good for like 99 percent of content but you know it's kind of like a car vlog i want to hear the whole atmosphere you can hear like James in the corner dropping something and it breaking. That channel really is made with iPhone. <laughs> oh yuck, I just realized I'm a professional iPhone user. Oh, I don't want that on a business card. And like, look mate, I don't even want a new phone anymore for more power. Like it runs all the messenger apps, shows me memes and videos, and it has done flawlessly for years. This thing is ancient. <laughs> look at the wee 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 little camera bump. We got mad at that everyone. We got mad at that back in there. Look at this stinking bump. Oh, look at that stinking bump. Mate, my work phone, and, and no one believes me dang it, I'm being dead nuts, is this iPhone 5C that I got at Cashies. It's just as slow as modern supermarket phones yet it's smaller, lighter, more compact. All it needs to do is colon text and it does the job flawlessly. It does 4G. Oh, remember these days with phone cameras? Isn't that sweet? Poor oh, jeez, mate, we've come far. But once a phone's doing a job that you need it to and your job description doesn't change, why does the phone need to change? But on with the review and you know why the title of this video is as such. I mean like the previous working title was called I don't like the 15 Pro Max. <laughs> That's how poorly this relationship started. I found the fix for my issues and sadly it was in Apple's default settings. Mate, Apple knows how to add features to something which absolutely balks the experience for a lot. But as I said, unfortunately I am a professional iPhone user. I make my living through an iPhone. And mate, 
it's time to talk about all the features that Apple smashes into their lovely phones that is destroying your footage and your content. The first feature to turn off is record stereo sound. Whew, but that sounds great, right? Mate, it's like the reason I like using the inbuilt microphone as you get a lot of the surrounding environment. But like, for some reason, I don't get it. All it really does is make your voice quieter as you zoom in and then like louder as you zoom out. As shown in this professional demonstration. <laughs> Why would I want this? Back when this first came out, I thought my iPhone was balking. I'm like, why? Why is this ruining all of my content? I had a whole bunch of videos spoiled with it. I had to save it in the edit and it took forever. I don't know if it's trying to pick up heaps of other stuff, but all I know is that the main voice gets quieter and it tends to kind of spoil any video it's featured in. Well, the next feature is Auto FPS. Mate, this one is mm, so good. Mmm, so good. In low light conditions, it will tank the frame rate to make your video look better. Take a look at this quick demonstration. Look, typical garbage time scenario, mate. Like, look, I'm just gonna be doing this. Look, 60 FPS. Let's have a look inside of this dark car for some reason. Mate, light, and let's see what happens to the frames. Oh, mate, there they go. <laughs> see, it starts chugging, and if we get out of here, skip it away, and oh, Look, we're back again. What an awesome feature that balks your footage for you, so you don't have to balk it yourself. Don't you all want that? That looks all so good, mate. You know what to make the frame rate look like it's a Nugget PC that can't run a game at full graphics? And the video doesn't even get better for the sacrifice. It makes no sense. But mix in some stereo sound and you can make some real content. <laughs> Again, I originally thought my phone was on the fritz and that it needed an update. I had no idea it was a feature that was destroying videos of mine. <laughs> I was legitimately waiting for a fix in the updates. Finally found it buried in settings. Apple, like, you're an idiot. You have all these pro features. You can, like, have videos made in RAW so, like, the color is unmessed with so you can do all that yourself. Like, you could pro-res all of this and you bury all these settings in, like, no man's land. It's so hard to find and it's completely unintuitive. It's like, what? You, you don't know how to design like a little slide out control tab or something in the camera app? Ew, very angry. And thanks to the iPhone 15, I've now found another feature to turn off. And it's all thanks to the amazing work they've done with their cameras. The huge perk for me is the ability to have one hand zoom while doing other stuff. And iPhones have been doing an amazing job. Like they zoom heaps far, way further than this single lens can do on its own. Of course, proper cameras can see further, you know, if you swap lenses and things. But I don't want to swap lenses. I just want to be bing, bang, boom. So mate, you know, we got the 15, mate, we got the 13 here, we got the 14 here, <sighs> looking great, it still works. But suss out the zoom capabilities across the different phones. So, wow, the 15 is absolutely slaying it. You can clearly make out that word dingus. So an awesome thing that like these more modern iPhones let you do now is record video and use all of the lenses, even kicking into like the, the 0.5, the smaller one. But there's a huge issue with it. Like phones really grew up as like a really great instrument to use for videoing like this. I mean, you know, 4K 60 is just so stout, but it's the optical image stabilization. Like, cause I can wiggle the camera around and do all sorts, but it stays really rigid and it's what gives the camera a bit of weight to it, I can just kind of swoop in on the Tony damage, swoop away from the Tony damage, and it's just smooth and slick. But here's the problem. So this camera lets you go all the way into the 5X. Like it's got to do a bonk there to do it, but it lets you go all the way in. But then like, it's going to let me go all the way out to 0.05, which is amazing, right? But the problem is the 0.05 lens, I guess it doesn't have any stabilization because I'm just going to wiggle the, the camera like this and watch it kick into the next lens. Oh, it's all gone. Ready? We're going to go back again. Bonk. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> and mate, the other big issue is when it kicks over to like the 5X lens, it, see that? Like it, it kicks over. And I'm not mad. Like it has to. It's coming out of a different hole in the front of the phone. And it's like, that's physics, mate. That's the angle of the light. But it looks terrible. <laughs> and like, 
Oh, gosh, nah. So the issue is of going back too far and having no stabilization and then going too far in and making it gonk into a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, awesome to have all those extra lenses, but it's a shame that it like tends to balk the footage, especially losing the stabilization. That's what makes iPhones so good. Like that stabilization makes them look heavy. You know, before that, they'd be wobbling in the hand and whatnot, and it looks terrible. But what they've achieved with the stabilization, where these lenses are motorized and go and just stabilize against the wobbling. It's incredibly high tech. So this is my old 14. This is what's been doing all the work. And as you can see, like the way that I like to film it is literally cupped in my hand like this so I don't block the mic and there you go that's my zoom as I'm talking as you see it's got 0.5 locked out which is just how it's always been for me and up the top is locked out as well and this is how I like to use it since this is the filming technique I've developed for my garbage time channel I'm dubbing it garbage style <laughs> but you see when that 0.5 is enabled i can't actually go out there you know i don't want to be there because i'll lose the stabilization so very carefully having to hold it there the first video this guy did with me was my mercedes video about you know getting absolutely ripped off oh. and that was one of the worst filming sessions i've ever had to tolerate and there are big chunks in the video where it's kicking into the bigger lens and goes bonk bonk and it's like you know the faster you do it the worse it looks and depending on what the thing is that you're filming mate especially shiny things look at the artifacts it creates it's an absolute mess <laughs> like i don't want this what if the thing i'm trying to look at is right in that lens changeover section i'd be really happy if it was just like my old phone where it was locked and i couldn't go that far and i found it it's called lock camera get that stinking lock camera on it still zooms in way further way 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 further it, it like digitally does it to the same distance you know it just loses a bit of quality but that suits me fine so yes it is absolutely an improvement in the camera if you can turn off all the garbage rubbish that apple automatically default turns on think it's gonna help you with their crappy features and like mate look this is my 13 it's still an epic phone. Honestly, the 11 still looks great. <laughs> We're finally at the point where smartphones, like a five-year-old phone, still hangs out perfectly well, like wireless payments, using it as a key, smart home stuff. And to you people out there who get like, you know, FOMO about like new devices coming out and you're not getting it, look, if you haven't maxed out your current phone, you don't really need another. I'm not changing this. I'm gonna use this till it dies. Why? It does every job that I need it to do calls and texts you already have a toxic rectangle spewing trash into your brain why do you need another like no wonder smartphone sales are tanking <laughs> and mate to prove this have you noticed like huh the 11 13 14 15 like you know all your all your phones are here who's recording this episode 12 pro max is that you well that's it Thanks so much for watching. Shoot, thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here, mate. Because, you know, if you want more videos, I got them. It's, it's garbage time, mate. You go watch garbage time. The drum thing, I've talked about that too. That's my drum thing. And like on Float Play, mate, like I play games and I, I do drum streams. I've got a gaming channel too. I make a lot of content. There's too many videos. You'll be sick of me in no time. And so, thanks so much, mate. I'll see you all next time.